Okay, welcome back. Let's continue our exploration. But today we want to talk a bit about debugging and how to recover it from、uh, errors. Okay, so why why our program generates something、uh, errors or mistakes or the problem? Yeah, yeah, and you started to scratch your head, not knowing what's going on, what's wrong. Yeah, it is because sometimes、uh, our program didn't expect our user will input something that is out of from <laughs> from blue from、uh, some weird unexpected input. Okay, for example. Uh, and the result is that we our our operate operator our calculation because of that kind of input we get stuck we get stuck and then we cannot continue our program in runtime. For example,、uh, we can do ten divided by three, right?、Uh, let's assume our Our n is three.、Uh, let's assume you are calculating ten divided by n. But what if、uh, one person they just input n as a zero?、Uh, sorry, n as a zero. Can you can you calculate this? <laughs> Obviously, you can't, right? Because、uh, divided by zero in math is is <laughs> you know, you you will generate some math issue, right? So,、uh, if we cannot solve by our pure math, we, we can't in our program. So we need to avoid this. Okay. Another thing, like uh, we, uh, for example, we uh, divided by n. Okay. Of course. If you n is、uh, non-zero, okay, non-zero, but、uh, what if your n is, for example, ten? Can you divide it? This? <laughs> Can you divide it by a number divided by a string? Yeah, your input just simply input a string. Not a number, okay. If your program cannot forgot to convert from the string type to to the number, of course you can say, yeah, I can do this, okay. Kind of, okay, to kind of protect protect my my input, okay. But sometimes you are real user, real person, they type like this. Your input n is maybe、uh, the string like ten.、Uh, <laughs> okay, ten for for them is ten number ten. <laughs> How can you expect、uh, them not knowing t n is not number ten? So all kind of problem will cause your、uh, program. Just stop, right? Crash, or just blow out, okay? And in Python, because it's an interpreted language, your program just kicked out、uh, by the interpreter, okay? So all kinds of unexpected input may cause of this. How can you deal with that? Okay, in Python, there's a very special、uh, syntax they call the try exception. Try exception. Okay, try exception. Okay, and they can can kind of catch this kind of unexpected error. Okay, and if you catch it successfully, you do error handling. Okay, let me show you how to do that. Okay, kind of uh, re uh, try the syntax is like this. Try. Okay. And then you put the block of the things you want to catch. For example, ten、uh, uh, 
divided by n, okay? But n, if that's a that's a case, n for example zero. Uh, ten divided by n, in this case will be wrong, right? Will be causing will be problematic, right? I'm going to catch it. Uh, I need to handle exception except. Okay, I'm going to print. Uh, Something wrong. Mm, maybe try uh, non zero number next time. Maybe. Okay, so here's the logic. Okay, uh, here's the logic. Uh, your program try to take an input from the keyboard, uh, and then you put it into an n. Okay, but you want to avoid this case. Okay, uh, especially most of the time your n will be non-zero number. Okay, but Especially uh, in the case if it's a zero, you you are going to get uh, get a problem. Okay, so if something wrong happening in this block, okay, they will uh, give you a uh, trace back and show some error message, maybe. Uh, a little bit explanation to you. Sorry, I cannot run for you because it's out of my ability capacity. Maybe uh, you need to convert to the right time. Maybe you need to avoid the uh, zero case, etc. And then, uh, but if you use this syntax, okay, you catch it. Okay, there's something wrong happening in this statement. Uh, the Python kind of protect it. Uh, they will run the exception part automatically. Okay, at least you are still in your control. You are still in your uh, control. Maybe you can kind of uh, call uh, call the uh, try another input again. Okay, so. This is what we call the try uh, except exception syntax. Okay, so in the try block, you try to catch the the error happening in this code. Except is what are you going to deal with it? Okay. Maybe print some error message. Maybe to reinvoke, uh, reinitialize, or redo it again. Okay. So both part need to use a uh, colon and the indentation and the colon and the indentation. Okay. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I will see you next time. I hope you tr uh, catch all the error possible arrow you can imagine okay bye bye